Hey guys, DV here. Uh, this is another part of our Lightworks tutorial series, and right now we're talking about some in-depth uh, basic editing. And in today's tutorial, what I want to show you is how to actually cut clips and take different parts of your video out, and then move clips around on your timeline down here. So what I want to do to get started here is you can see that I have a couple different video clips involved in my timeline. And what I wanted to go ahead and do was to insert a clip right between my subscribe logo and the last scene of my video. So I'm going to go ahead and do that by simply positioning my cursor in the timeline right right about there. Click on join there. And then I'm going to insert, um, let's see which video do I want to insert. I think I'm going to insert this one, this one right there. No, actually this one. I'm going to insert that right into the video. There we go, perfect. And um, now what I'm going to do, if you look at the video, I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to cut out the first part of this video. So what you're going to do, position your cursor where you want to make the cut. So I'm going to cut it right before the lights on the police car actually come on, or actually right as the lights turn on. So right about there. And I've positioned my cursor. I've looked at the preview screen and figured out that's where I want to make the cut. And what I do, I go down to the bottom here. And we haven't really talked about a lot of these tools yet in our videos, but that's coming in a later tutorial. And we want to go down here and click on the delete button. So if we click that, what it's going to do, it's going to split our clip. So we have the part that we don't want here, and then the part that we do want right over here. So then if you go right here, click on join, um, and then go here, and I can click on, wait, hang on, what do I want to do? Oh, wait, never mind. My bad. What I want to do is go ahead um, and using the left mouse button, click on MVI2596, which is the clip I want to get rid of, and just drag it off the timeline onto a blank spot of the screen, and just drop it there. And then do the same for that associated audio track. Now you see these things on the side here, these refer to the syncing of the video and the audio. You don't really have to worry about those, but if you click on them, it should fix it. Fix the problem. Actually, I don't even know what the problem is, but it doesn't matter, because the audio is synced if you look at it. The audio is synced up, and it's fine. But what I'm going to do now is move this clip over so that it fills in the gap here. And I can do that simply by left clicking on the video clip and just dragging it over, positioning it right there next to the green clip, and then doing the same for the associated audio clip. And then I'm going to move over my closing logo and drop it in place, and the closing logo audio and drop it into place. So that's basically how you can handle the cutting. Now, say if we wanted to cut a piece from one of these scenes. I want to cut out the middle part of this one, okay? So what I'm going to do is find the spot I want to cut, go ahead and click on delete, go over here, click delete as well, and then I can drag this off, drag this off, and this track is not affected because that audio wasn't selected. But if I want to get rid of it, I can turn that audio track on, click delete, join. Um, Shoot, did it again. Um, okay, that's better. Sorry. Click the weed again, and then drag this off. And then I can slide over all these clips and the audio. Ah. If that happens to you, just make sure you click on join so it can allow you to move the clip over. I don't really know why it does that because it doesn't happen in any other program I've ever used. But that's something that Lightworks does that's kind of annoying, but I've learned to live with it. It's not the end of the world, you just got to be careful what you're doing. Because that, that deals with stretching the clips out a little bit. It's very annoying, but... And then just drag and drop. Okay, so now you have your clip all edited. And you've made a couple different cuts, so that should really show you how to do all the different kinds of cuts that you'd have to deal with. And um, yeah, another option, if you say if you cut the video, like right about here, right? If I wanted to cut it there, I click delete. And if I click on remove, it's going to delete everything after that, which perhaps it's not the desired effect. But just so you know, like if you cut your closing and you didn't want the end of that, right? Delete, remove, and then it's gone. And then you don't have to worry about dragging it off the timeline and whatnot. So hopefully that helps a little bit, clears up some issues you might have had with cutting and some different editing effects. Don't forget to subscribe guys, there's more coming.